Hi, I'm Jamie Reber from Sci-Fi Vision. Thanks for talking to me. I appreciate it. I really enjoyed the season. I binged it all yesterday. Yay! <laughs> I'm going. Wanted to see what happened. Um, so to start out, for people who haven't seen it, why don't you tell me sort of what's coming for Maria this season? Well, we sort of pick up the second season where we left off, which is will Maria and Rhett, are, you know, are they going to be able to leave town? And I don't think I'm spoiling anything by saying no, <laughs> because otherwise I wouldn't There'd be, be no show, yeah. <laughs> the second season. But um, we sort of see Maria and Rhett navigate the intimacy and their chemistry and how profound their love is. And then after they're sort of out of that love fest and their little bubble sort of navigate the challenges of the world that they're sort of living through. Yeah. Right. Can you talk about working with Lewis this season? Oh my God. Every season I would do every show that I have with Lewis Pullman. He's, he's such a generous actor. You know, he's one of those actors that is just available for you just emotionally. And I remember it was one of the first scenes that we shot this season and I was, I'm always a little nervous when I'm about to start shooting again. It's like, I'm prepped, but then you show up to set and there's this expectation. And I just looked into those baby blue eyes and it was like something had cracked open in me, you know? And I was like, man, you do it every time. And he's just so generous. He was like, you do that for me too. So he's just a great, um, just a great colleague and one of the most generous and genuine people I've ever met. He's great. Awesome. Is there anything specifically last season that from doing the show you kind of learned that that helped you out this year at all? Hmm. Or that maybe just changed in the way that you approached it? You know, even acting in general, I think I just learned to just be present. You know, I think like sometimes actors have all these ideas and things that they want to do. And then I just thought, how about not doing that? And I actually learned that working with Lou and Josh Brolin this season, there's something about just being available without imposing anything. It's just a matter of a thought. You know what I mean? It just like you can see it through the eyes. Mm -hmm. And that was like a huge lesson for me because I was trained in the theater and so, like, the first time I started acting, I was just like, oh, look at me, <laughs> look at me. And I was like, oh, it's different for the camera. You know, there's yes, definitely being available and just it's here. It's just a thought. It's just a breath away. And I sort of, like, took that from the first season and sort of worked from that for the second season. And even a makeup artist was like, wow, you've really grown in the span of a year. And I was like, great. I'm just, you know, sort of being available. Well, now that you said that, let me ask you the opposite side of that, though. What did you, was there anything you still struggled with? Um, out? You know, it's interesting. I, I grew up in Puerto Rico and I mean, I grew up watching Westerns with my dad and I just saw it as something like so removed culturally from me. And so always like immersing myself in a show that's like western core even though there's also these metaphysical elements in it always seemed like a hurdle that I couldn't get through but I learned how to be in that world and it's fascinating and I think I just developed like a new appreciation for it but sometimes I'm like do I do I even do I even belong in this world you know what I mean like sometimes there that's that thought and then I sort of like get over it and I don't allow it to sort of you know, take precedence. But it it is a thought that I've had sometimes shooting the show that I'm like, this is so remote from me in terms of like, just the culture of it all. You know, it's so specific. It's so Americana. You know? So yeah. So I would say that. All right. Fair. Um, the other thing I wanted to ask you, can you tease a bit about Maria with Autumn? They they have some not so great interactions this yes. season, let's just say, without spoiling it. I know. Autumn is not the nicest <laughs> and I think you know there is something about Maria sort of being unsettled with her presence I think Maria represents sort of the purity of love and it's I believe like the more grounded character of the story and Autumn is the total opposite so it's like seeing these two forces kind of meet each other and this other grounded force not knowing what to do with this creature right it's like yeah. i don't know how to relate to this and it could be quite unsettling for her 
Yeah, I was going to say, I think she's unsettling for a lot of them. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only <laughs> no. When we were going to shoot the second um, uh, season, we, well, you guys will see, but there's another encounter. And I was like, oh, this again. <laughs> so, yeah, but I had so much fun shooting those scenes. I mean, I, I, I had a blast shooting it with Imogen. Yeah. Like I said, I enjoyed the season. So thank you Good. and have a good rest of your day. Thank you.